Hello everyone, welcome to Rush the Wash. My name is Miguel and today I'm going to teach you how to paint Space Marines. But first, let's break it down to three rules. Rule number one, our standard is for playing with the miniatures. Rule number two, no special tools, no special techniques, very easy and simple. Rule number three, we got 10 minutes to paint each miniature, max. It's time to start Rush the Wash. On today's episode, we're gonna work with Blood Angels, the children of Sanguinius. And we're gonna start with Fuegan Orange and a big brush with a soft tip. This orange coat is going to be the base for the next color, which is going to be a deep red. So it's very important that we do it right now. Although in the tutorial you can see that I'm going to use the metal now, I strongly recommend that you do it after we give it the red coat, because it's going to stain this color. It's not a big deal, you can do it now if you prefer, it doesn't really matter, but I think it is better if you do it after the next step. And this is the step I'm talking about. Use contrast blood angels to paint the whole power armor. I try not to give it too thick of a layer because I want to see the orange layer below. Using white scar, I'm going to recover the color on the joints between the armor plates and those places that I have stained it, like the gun, the belt, etc, etc. Although this step at the beginning is time consuming, after you paint a few miniatures and you get used to where everything goes, you will do it very fast, believe me. Do not forget to dilute your paint a little bit if you want to recover the color on the sand on the basing. With Griff Charger Grey, we're gonna paint the joints between the armor plates and the cover of the ball gun. The Aqua Imperialis in most models now seems to be also black, so I'm gonna paint it with Griff Charger Grey as well. And with a little bit of it, being very careful, I'm gonna do a pink wash in the joints of the different armor plates like these ones so I can achieve a bigger contrast between them. Please remember that you don't have to do this on every piece of armor, just on those ones that you think are more interesting. Today I'm going to use Basilic and Grey to darken the metals, like the vents on the generator, and also those places that we just painted with the Grief Charger Grey. Notice how I swap between brushes depending on the surface area that I want to paint. If it's a bigger one and I don't need to be that delicate, I go through with a bigger brush. But if it's a smaller one and I don't want to stain things around it, I go through a detail brush. Although this step I did it much later in the tutorial, you should do it right now. Paint white those small sniper lessons. Because we're going to use warp line in contrast to paint the helmet lenses and the sniper lenses on the bolt gun. I'm going to use Contrast Magus Purple to paint the purity seal. And while this is still drying, I'm going to use a skeleton horde to paint the gun holster, the ammo pouches, the belt, and also the small bands on the purity seal. With Truchi Violet, I'm going to give a second coat to the purity seals to make it even more vibrant. There's not much gold on these miniatures, but there is this small symbol on the ball gun that I want to paint gold, so I'm gonna use Gehenna's gold. Any golden color will work. For those of you who are not new to the channel, you are familiar already with my love with Sepia 251 from Daler Rowney. I'm gonna use it to stain all the leather once again with a thin layer that is gonna make it darker, much richer leather look for these different parts in the miniature. I use this ink for so many things that I wouldn't know what to do without it right now. If you would like to acquire this ink as well, there is a link in the description below. A little bit of this sepia ink will also be used to enrich the gold color. I then took Runefang steel to highlight the different metallic parts in the miniature. 
I'm not really sure if it was the greatest choice, I could have used Iron Breaker and it wouldn't be that much in your face, but I think the strong silver color does a good job on highlighting against the very dark red of the armor. If you think I should have used it Iron Breaker instead of Runefang Steel, please leave a comment below. If you are familiar with Blood Angels, you will know that sometimes some parts of the miniatures, such as the knee pads and the helmets, are blue. Use Talisar Blue for these parts. For those of you confident on your brush skills, you can water down a little bit of Abaddon Black and paint some letters on the different purity seals. I'm going to use Black Templar to darken the ball gun. On high sight, I think I should have used this color instead of the previous Vasily Cannon Gray, but either way, I think a little bit darker is going to work better. I think at the end of the day, it's all about personal choice and how do you want his to look. For the base, I'm going to use Drakenhof Nightshade, and while this is drying on the sand, I'm going to give a slight glaze on that blue knee pad to make it more interesting. Now, this step is handmade, but those of you who paint uh, Blood Angels, I strongly recommend that you get transfers, because that way you will get consistent results. I am going to use now Agrex Earthshade to stain the rocks and the sand on the base. Drakenhof Nightshade and Agrex Earthshade together create this nice interesting look as if it was from ruins or ashes belonging to a city that has been destroyed in the eternal war of mankind against the Sino. While that is drying, I am going to use Abaddon to create a nice black trim on the base. And that's it, the Space Marine is ready for a coat of varnish to withstand the rigors of gaming. My varnish of choice is Testers. I've been using it for years and it has never let me down. I put some links in the description where you can find it on Amazon. And here we have another 10 minute Space Marine ready for the battlefield. The longest part of the process here is always trying to decide where the colors go and how to paint each part separately. Once that is done and you decide how to do everything, it is super fast to paint Space Marines. If you have transfers, you can make this way faster, so please make sure that you have those if you want to get consistent results and to save time. Please make sure to smash that like button immediately, it helps the channel a lot when you do so. My name is Miguel, thank you very much for watching, hope to see you soon again at Rush the Wash. Bye!